Hello and welcome to the Mug Talk Podcast where we talk about writing, reading books, and sometimes food. So grab your beverage of choice and your mug of choice as well. Today I will be drinking a peppermint herbal tea out of a bear cute mug. So today we are talking about first chapters, first paragraphs, first line, the first word of your story. So let's be honest, write as a writer or reader to reader or whatever, or just hi, friend to friend maybe, I don't know. <laughs> let's be honest, writing that first chapter, that first paragraph, that first sentence, is a lot of pressure on writers, you know? And for this episode, actually, I did some research on what makes a good opening beginning. What makes a bad opening? And I can tell you that no matter which opening you choose, having a thought, having a dialogue, having a dialogue, that makes no sense, whatever. No matter how you start your story, someone's not going to like it. Because while I was doing this research for this episode... I learned that there's no good way to start a story, it seems like. Every blog that I read, there was everything on the list, basically, of how to start a story that that's not how you shouldn't do it. And to be honest, when I was writing Neuroner, um, I did not Google or anything how to write a good opening. And if you do that, I feel like that is just setting you up for failure because you will google how to write the best opening what makes a bad opening and you will become overwhelmed with nothing that you write would be good enough now writing is already hard on its own so when you stress about making the first chapter first paragraph first line first sentence there's a lot of first in this episode Uh, You just get more overwhelmed, and I feel like as a new writer, when you're trying to learn everything, you just can't. (laughs) You just have to go with your gut, and then after you write the first completed first draft, you go and kind of research on how to make this crappy draft better. Because I'll tell you this, Your book becomes an actual book that's readable and presentable in the editing stage. There's no first draft that's like magical and it's perfect and it's right then and there. So this, by the way, is not like a how to write a perfect first draft. I'm just saying now (laughs) that... If you Google and do some research about how to make a good, perfect draft, first draft, I should say, a first chapter, that's what we're talking about, uh, or the worst openings that you should start with, you will feel like writing a book is very impossible. Now, before writing a book feeling impossible, that should happen later in the stage when you're in the editing stage and you realize what a crappy writer you are, but you're trying to make better and it's kind of soul-sucking, that's a different topic for another episode. But here are some things that I agree with and that I found in my research that kind of were like the happy medium of things that you shouldn't do is number one, info dumping. Now this kind of can break down into two parts, whether that is info dumping your character's And I mean your whole characters, like characters that are not even going to get introduced to later in the book and telling their full backstory. And then another thing with info dumping is the world, especially in fantasy and uh, sci-fi when it's not really in this world. It's a whole new world. Sorry, I had to do it. When you're just info dumping the whole governance system, the whole how the world came to be or you know, the history of this one country. First off, this is for fiction writing. Um, I'm a fiction writer. So when your reader gets your book, they don't want to feel like they're swallowing a history book because 9 out of 10, they didn't sign up for a history. 
so your characters in your world and the magic system or whatever you may have, the complex system of your mind, uh, should be spread throughout the novel in little chunks. Little so kind of like vitamins, you know, you take little bits of them at a time. You don't swallow the whole bottle. Uh, this analogy kind of got away from me, but whatever. Another thing that I saw that you really shouldn't do in um, first chapters, you know, of your story is listing things. And I think this could go for, say, the whole book of not listing things like, oh, Sally woke up. Sally, then Sally put on her slippers. Then she took a shower. Then she, yeah, I'm boring. I get that. And that's kind of, if you list it, is boring as well to the readers so just don't list it and also throughout your novel don't list it now i don't know about you but we have talked a lot about bad things about being overwhelmed and everything so let's talk about some good things that i personally like to see in first chapter number one right into the action I love when you're starting a book and they kind of just throw you right into the action. Now, this is not to say they're throwing you right into the action with all their made-up words. It's more like, oh, maybe she's running. Oh, maybe she, they're getting stabbed. I don't know. But I just love being kind of right thrown into what the character is experiencing especially if it's in the first person you're just kind of thrown in and you're asking why the main purpose of a first chapter i can tell you this <laughs> i just don't know what that voice was sorry uh is the why why is this happening what's going on and kind of why should i be intrigued i know i said a what but that still includes that what so the second thing that I personally like is involving the reader into the character's thought process and not like very in details or slash like getting the reader involved with you. You know, right away, the reader feels connected with the main character and that's why I like it so much. And it's kind of, especially if if it's like a reflection on the character's life and it just makes you wonder what is going on why is this happening for example when i look down i saw blood on my hands and if you would have asked me if i regretted it i would say no boom right there you're intrigued do you want to read more sadly i don't have more the next thing that I like to see in first chapters, and this is only for a certain genre, if it's like horror, mystery, or thriller, I like seeing like the killer's point of view in the first chapter, but not actually telling you the killer's point of view, but you know what it is, or like the creeper guy's point of view. I don't really know like what other kind of books, to be honest, that involves thrillers, or mystery or horror without like a killing like a killer involved but it's to have you know, have the reader through the eyes of the killer and they're watching their victim it's creepy right but that's exactly what you want in like a thriller a mystery a horror uh genre is you want that creepiness and right away if it's kind of through the killer's point of view or the stalker's point of view or whatever pulls you right into that creepiness factor and it kind of guarantees you to that creepy chills in this factor now i only like this genre this opening if it's for like the horror genre and not like if it's a fantasy genre or you know, fantasy or sci-fi and starting out with the killer's point of view. Okay, that's not what I really signed up for. So anyway, the overview, start your story however you like. Just don't info dump or enlist. That's basically the moral of how to write a good 
uh, first chapter, you know, just don't info dump, don't list. Because no matter how you open your story, there's always going to be someone who doesn't like it. And then there's going to be other people who like it. And the important thing to know is do not stress over the first chapter, first paragraph, first sentence when you are just drafting. Worry about that in the editing stage because what makes a book is really the editing stage. When you do all those rewrites, when you do all those rewrites of different drafts and you kind of put those together. What makes a good opening is all up to you and what you like to see. Again, I am your host, J. Faith Kenny, and you can go to my website at jfaithkenny.com and there's a little mug talk, mug talk podcast tab where you can uh, just join the discussion of what makes a good first chapter, what makes a bad t- chapter. And please remember to be kind over there. This is not for a debate. Well, it is for a debate, but it's not for an evil debate where you call people stupid. People are valid to their opinions. So just because it's different than yours, it doesn't mean it's stupid. Just want to say that. So please be kind over there. And you can follow me on the social media, uh, the Instagram, the Facebook, the Twitter, uh, Pinterest. I love Pinterest and Instagram. Those are the ones that I'm on the most. All at J Faith Kenny. I'll see you guys next time, and bye. By the way, if you're still listening, I want you to know I'm recording this podcast, this episode, when there was a skunk outside, and I couldn't barely breathe because the smell of the skunk being sprayed was suffocating me. Just want you to know. Okay, bye.